Lots of you are talking about this news and it deserves its own video, so I'm here making one. RHEL has announced a change that's going to have a significant hindrance on the likes of Rocky Linux and Alma Linux, which will likely change the distribution model for distros like these. An announcement was made that CentOS Stream will now be the sole repository for the public RHEL Red Hat Enterprise Linux related source code releases. For Red Hat customers and partners, source code will remain available via the Red Hat customer portal. To be clear, this change does not signify any changes to the CentOS project, CentOS Stream, or, or source availability for CentOS Stream and CentOS SIGs. And this decision may take away from the Linux communities, users, and developers because it's going to make it more difficult for off-community enterprise Linux distributions to maintain themselves, such as Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, and allowing them to provide us with their binary compatible builds that are equivalent to the RHEL releases. And why is that the case? That's because these distributions like Rocky and Alma will not have access to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux repositories anymore after this decision has been made. They will have to host their own packages. They cannot use the source repos from RHEL anymore since they're not supporting CentOS and only focusing on CentOS Stream, Red Hat has seemed to want to invest their engineering and have turned their priorities to their customers and partners instead of availability for the free and open source communities. This has definitely made tensions rise between Red Hat Enterprise Linux and the Linux community with concerns about Linux fragmentation and of course the potential side effects that it's going to cause for the one-to-one -one binary clones of CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Of course, there are people on the side that there are free riders who are currently benefiting from Red Hat's software contributing, meaning that Red Hat Enterprise Linux is spending all this time and it's not really their job to support the free and open source community as they're a corporation that earns their money off of partnerships and of course supporting the users using Red Hat Enterprise Linux in production environments. As it says here, they maintained these repositories even though CentOS Linux was no longer being built downstream of RHEL. And people were hoping that they would maintain these public sources for the foreseeable future. Although there was, of course, hints after dropping CentOS Linux for CentOS Stream, their rolling release model of Linux. Could they keep some resources on here and just protect from things like duplicate mirroring? and just not making things difficult for the FOSS community, maybe. And perhaps this is a discussion about disagreements and variations of the free and open source community, which is hindering the establishment of any kind of standards in Linux. When you have so many different distributions and flavors, it's hard to get everyone on the same page. And because of the lack of standards, this is really going to suck for people with production environments that are trying to find alternatives to what they once had, which was CentOS Linux. And it looks like RHEL is definitely pushing them into trying to get them on their paid platform. And even though it's unpractical, perhaps there is some good in having a unified Linux experience that would exist under the Linux foundation, very much to how Google handled the original Android and established a common platform for themselves. Very similar model could have been used for Linux distributions. But in my opinion, with people discussing that, we're far too gone in the Linux community to be able to do that today. Of course, I'd like to know some of your thoughts on all of this, but the impact of RHEL changes to Alma Linux. Alma Linux has already responded with a quick summary on how they get RPM sources. Late last week, one of our build SIG members noticed some updates in Red Hat 8 hadn't published on gitcentos.org like they were supposed to. They assumed it was a bug and opened a report appropriately. But as days went on with no resolution, we knew something was up. This morning, we got our answer. Red Hat has decided to continue to use Customer Portal to share source code with their partners and customers while treating CentOS Stream as the venue for collaboration with the community. This change means that we as builders of RHEL clone will now be responsible for following the licensing and agreements that are in place around Red Hat's interfaces in addition to following the licenses included in the software sources. Unfortunately, the way we understand it today, Red Hat's user interface agreements indicate that republishing sources acquired through the customer portal would be a violation of those agreements. And now we understand why it's such a big deal because if you can't get sources from where they used to get them publicly at git.centos.org, they cannot republish sources acquired through their customer portal because that would be 
a violation of agreement, at least as it stands now with RAGL. So they need a solution. For the short-term and long-term solutions to this change are something we will be discussing over the coming weeks. Basically, in the long term, they plan on working with partners in our community to identify what the best path forward. And a few frequently asked questions which community members have been asking, does this mean I won't be getting security updates for my Alma Linux OS server? No, it looks like you'll still be getting updates. Who is involved in the conversations about the next steps? Basically, the board, the president, the SIG leaders, and all the members of the community. Can you just use CentOS stream sources? No, of course they can't. And is Red Hat trying to kill the downstream clones and they cannot speak on Red Hat's intentions? Anyways, big news for Linux today. Definitely want to know your thoughts on things. Ever want to learn about C++ on Linux? Well, now I have the essentials all written out for you for newcomers into the exciting world of programming. I teach them all about C++ with over 18 lessons. Check it out today at learn.savvynick.com. Everything from setting up your first programming environment to creating your first program and doing things with complex topics such as classes, objects, vectors, much more, including source control and even debugging your project. Sign up for the course today. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.